Well, right now is the time to be doing this. This spring, it's only been a two week difference in between snow on the ground to buds on the trees. Within two weeks, we will not be able to see anything but green out here, which is a beautiful thing, but for what we're doing today, it doesn't help. And so, as you can see behind me, we have a beautiful old wall. This is a colonial home site. And the thing is, we have permission for all of this out here. And we know for a fact, to the north and to the south, we have found old home sites. And that's what we want to do. We want to find old home sites to go metal detecting. But this middle lot, which is massive, we've never gone way out there. Now, if you look at the horizon on the, on the very back there, that is 2,000 feet. I just checked, we're at 1,400 feet. So that's a 600 foot difference in between. I'm imagining the land is gonna be pretty rough, but it must be done. So that's what we're gonna do. And who knows what will happen. Either way, we're gonna be walking on some old ground. So this is a cow lane, walking away from the site we were just at, and then it just opens up, call them a cow lane, but it could have been sheep, some kind of livestock they were just sending out here. Oh man, this is going to be something. The loggers continued on from that cow lane right up through here and left ruts. I'll follow it for a bit, or at least as long as it keeps heading east. bowl look at this it's up in every direction and with all the debris on the ground you can see where they staged while logging probably because of this situation hopefully we get up in and it plateaus a lot deeper down than video is describing. All right, see, you, you go through all this stuff quite a ways and right where my cuff is, we have wall. Wow, see we are Definitely inside, sectioned off farms. Jeez. Okay, a little bit longer. Just been following the river, and we found, for what we do, a golden clue. This is no doubt an old cart path, which following the river makes sense, but. It is embanked on the side. It's got rocks in the shoulder. We have something solid to follow. Huh. I mean, looking back, clear as day, right? And the thing that gets me is I've been walking the same direction the whole time and along the river and this just appeared. Granted, it could have been destroyed on the other side from logging, but let's hope it 
doesn't disappear up here because it can. There's walls out here, and you guys can see how much closer I am to the peak up there. That's how far we've gone out. People were definitely doing things out here. Well, wall goes down in, just continues on. But again, we're just following the river. Little bits and pieces of wagon rut. Look at this. Small rocks. Small wall. But that is a sign of land clearing. Not so much you know boundaries and keeping animals in. Oh this is a corner. That is improved land. No doubt, even though it's on a hillside, that was changed. Because all you have to do is look behind me and you see it's completely different. Rocks and holes and just not good. Oh, I've already been at it a while. I'm going to take a break from filming, come back to you guys shortly. I'm going to go look around. Yeah. There's no doubt we're onto something. So up there, definitely groomed off the hillside. And then all the way down the bottom where it gets a little bit rougher here, they were dragging rocks down by the brook to the end. Definitely time to turn this on, start walking around. Don't get your hopes up yet. Probably ammo. Yep. 22 casing. And that's it so far. But all the signs are here. I mean, there's enough rock wall to wrap around the town. I've been out here for a long time. It's just awesome. I haven't found anything, but it's still awesome. And where we are, this is like the smoothest piece of ground around, but we're obviously on a hill. And there is a bit of nail iron spread about, shifting of dirt. And right there is the bottom wall. And you can tell that this soil was pushed from up here because of the way the wall looks on the other side. And where was the home? No idea. I mean, I have done some footwork. When you have this much land access, you got to explore it all. 
All right, I'm gonna head back down into where I came up from because of that car pass. That's it, that's the plan. Oh boy. Figured we'd cross the river we were following on the way in for a little bit. See what's on this side. That's a hole in the ground. And that's nail iron. You never know. But I do know one thing. No shovel. Yikes, I left it up by the big tree. And there's definitely not enough time for me to go back up, get the shovel, come back down here and dig. All right, I'm gonna swing here for two minutes just to see what the ground sounds like. And then I just, I have to go back up there, get it and get out of here. Fortunately or unfortunately, that's just a hole in the ground. The nail iron is everywhere anyways, it seems. All right, well, I have to go because I got 15 minutes up. There you are. 15 minutes back and then 20 out. So as you can see, I just added a little bit of time to the day. You know, in 10 years of doing this, I have never left my shovel anywhere. So, not a bad hit rate. All right, I'm off. I will see you next time. Hey, and thanks for joining me because this is what must be done. You have to go out and look. You're never going to know until you go.